Shui. It's Jay Shui. I am getting a little bored of school, so I'm going to show you my office job. I'm stuck in this office, but I don't work here, and I don't... Uh, ignore that. False. I've been working here for about two years. Hold on. I don't remember that. Or that. Or... That. Why is everything... boarded up? It's almost like it's... Been abandoned. We have been having a rough year. I got a badge. I forgot mine at home. Hmm. Computer's broken too. Why is the... Why is the computer broken? What happened? Oh, I know what it is. You remember that game, the the maze game, and when you reach the end, it jump scares you. That's what happened. Jessica freaked out. She punched her monitor. That's that's fine. She went out to get another one. Oh. Um. Why is printers out of order? Like I said, rough year. Briefcase looks pretty important, but unfortunately, I don't know the six digit code to open it. That's true, it's. Tape three. That's true, it's. It's not my briefcase. It's my boss's briefcase. My boss. My. Boss. What's his name? I can't remember the name of my boss. Oh, well, I'm terrible with names. Okay. I know I work here, but who has Pac-Man in their office? That is awesome. Oh, I guess it must have been a uh, office-wide prank. Huh. Got another tape. Floppy disk? Like I said, it's just, it's just going down. Right into the toilet. Something still feels off. There's so many things that are just ripped up and, and broken. Then again, it is in the morning. It's slow. I'm sure people haven't woken up yet. Probably went out to get coffee or something. But there's coffee right here. And, and donuts and... And John wouldn't just leave donuts lying around. Not him. Was he not hungry? Then why would everyone leave these donuts? Did they leave them here for me? Not likely. They don't like me. Then again, the boss does like to spend money. So maybe he just got some extra. Man, he played it on all three monitors. This one's still steaming, so they were here recently. Nope. Oh, four. Man, brutal. Oh, today was a filming day. Uh, without a password, I guess there's just no way to be able to use this PC. Okay. Where do I play this tape? Oh, I'm coming in. Oh. Ugh. Do I, do I eat the sandwich? Is it, is it worth eating this sandwich? It does look tasty and they do clean the bathrooms quite regularly. However, am I really willing to lower my standards to eat toilet sandwich with a nice slice of ham and crispy lettuce with a thin slice of cheese compressed by two pieces of bread? Obviously, no one wanted it. That's why they left it here. So am I really the bad guy? I eat this sandwich. Yep. Oh, fire extinguisher. No, just in case. 
The door is closed and locked. There's no big. Why, why is that in the boy's bathroom? Wait a minute. Not even the janitors here? They never invite the janitor to things. And even if everyone at home, he'd stay surely. What are the chances that his daughter got sick and he had to rush home? I'd say less than 2%. Still, at 2%, that's what worries me. Great, a door sealed with a strong magnet. I suppose I could waltz into the server room and disable it. Hmm, but why would I? I think I should just start getting my work done. Surely above everything else. This is the key factor to tell me that something is wrong. A fire in the IT department? How and why is something like this broken out? Sure, Jeremy likes to light fireworks in the office, but would he really go so far as to do it to the IT department? I've known Jeremy for a long time. This just does not seem right. Then again, fires happen. And who am I to judge when a little fire breaks out? Board. Added to inventory, just, just the board. Hold it. Hold it. The fish haven't been fed. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. I have to get out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, Jenner's phone. Looks like it's locked, but no worries. I can just unlock it with a PC. Piece of cake. Why didn't I see it before? The cracked screens. The boarded windows. The plastic flowers. We don't... We don't even have a film department. Stapler in Jello. No, that's actually pretty normal. I... It's not the weirdest thing I've seen. Oh, clipboard. What does that do? Got two, I got up to four on the tapes. Uh, this electronic board is quite large and heavy. It doesn't seem like it would fit into a PC, so it must be used for something much bigger. I wonder how it survived the fire. Then again, everything else in the room appears to be intact as well. They don't make things like they used to. People really do write important things down in dumbest places. I just found six digit security code on the clipboard. Okay, why? Password. Why would everyone just leave like this? No. Don't tell me they beat my high score. Okay, this, this is fun. Access to the janitor's phone. I'm almost there. Cell phone. I now have a cell phone. The tapes, I can use them here. Get back to work, we must make profit. Yes, sir. Right away. Nothing screams productivity like being yelled at by a supervisor. We need to make money. And it doesn't matter how much time you need to spend in the office. We won't be paying for that anyways. Don't even bother trying to make up for it with overtime pay. What happened? The company is almost bankrupt. We won't survive another month like this. We're not doing enough sales. Whose fault is that? Your team is not working enough, clearly. It couldn't be my fault as the boss. We should start a review of all the employees. Yes, yes, to decide who we can fire. That's the solution to all our problems. Tape three, you are fired. How will I pay my bills? I didn't want this to end like that. You should have thought about that before talking, taking so many breaks. Your company sucks anyways. It's doomed. Get out of here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. The manager. The pictures I've been seeing of the manager. Everyone practically worships him. Why would they fire him like that? You are all here because we must find a solution to save the company. We don't have much time left, and then I will lose everything. I might know a way. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried we actually have to do some real work to save our company. 
I'm missing a piece of this everlasting puzzle. Trapped in a box. Can I get in through here? Can. Emergency axe. What do I need this for? This? The server room. Yes, it's... It's coming quite clear. Exit pass. I can leave, but... Will I know the truth? No, it... It can't be. The janitor. He's been hogging the printer all to himself. Why would he hog it? What did people do to him? I'm gonna find out. I'll leave this place. I'll find everyone, and I'll find out what happened. Of course. It all makes sense. He hogged the printer, and... He don't want anyone to share his power. So they killed him. They made it look like... They left because of a fire. Because of a prank. But they left out one crucial detail. They didn't feed the fish. The final tape. Are we really trying to save the company with a ritual? Summoning demons is the best solution to a failing business. Give us the money for which we invoke you. No, no, wait, something went wrong. Stop it. It can't get out. We have locked it in the office, and all the doors and windows are sealed. We only need to pray that nobody is ever going to help it get out. So you've discovered the truth. I am the demon. It doesn't matter. I'll find a way out of here, with or without your help. Sooner or later. The game ends here. Then again, demons tend to get a bad rap. I mean, I don't seem that bad. Do I? You know me. I feed the fish. I put out the fires. To let me out. It's okay. You can trust me. Let me out. 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 Well, that was weird. But I found another job. And at this place, there's no chance of anything possibly going wrong. Um. Hello? My first day. It's too dark to see anything. Where's the light switch? Exit. Yeah, thanks. Thank, thanks a lot for that. The hands aren't moving. <laughs> move, move. Uh, this table looks very interesting. This wall, it's, it's made of wall. My dearest apologies, I must have forgotten to turn the lights on. I assure you that none of our employees work in the dark. Anyways, my name is Clockheart. I'm the CEO of this company, Kronos Inc. Since it's your first day here, I'd like, I like for you to get settled in. Walk around, take some time to introduce yourself to your co-workers. And if you have any questions... I'll be in my office. Should work on that back problem, sir. Slouching a bit. Hey. See you later. Oh. Hello, Simone. I'm Simone. Nice to meet you. I hope you enjoyed your job here. Working at Kronos is an amazing opportunity. If you got any questions, 
Feel free to ask. Don't you think her boss looks funny? Don't be rude. You shouldn't judge others based on their appearance. Yeah, um, what's your work schedule look like? We work on Monday to Thursday. Friday is our day off, so no one's around that day. On Thursday, we have a little potluck where everyone brings some food to share. That's kind of nice. Maybe I was too quick to, to judge uh, the clock man for a boss. Though someone with that posture is not to be trusted. If you find someone with that posture, don't trust them. Ugh, Mondays. I really hate Mondays. Come talk to me another day, yeah? Sure thing, dude. It's a keypad that opens the elevator. The elevator is broken. The elevator is broken. Elevator is broken, so I got called in for a fix. I'm missing a solder and iron, though, and I need it. I ordered one a while ago, but it's not coming till tomorrow. Some delivery, eh? Yeah, some delivery. This game's very quiet. I'm gonna have to add in my own music. Did you get yourself acquainted with the other employees? Simone is one of our long-standing members. She's a valuable asset to our team. I'm sure she's got plenty of stories to share, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Bulletin board. Oh. I'm gonna talk to you first. Yes? What does this company do? I, I know. I know I'm, I got hired to work here, but... Like, what is it we actually do? Chronos Inc. is a consulting firm, consulting firm, renowned by many companies around the world. By solving our clients' past problems, we ensure that future ones don't occur. I show you that working here is an excellent opportunity. However, there's always lots of work to do, so it's quite easy to lose track of time. So if you need to remind yourself of the date, just look at where the pin is on the calendar. Yes? Why are there only five days on the calendar? Study shows that a four-day work week increases employee moral and productivity. So I impede, so I implemented a schedule where employees get Friday off in addition to the weekends. Unfortunately, it was starting to cut into our profits. So I had to get rid of Saturday and Sunday. Pretty brilliant, right? Okay. Whatever you say, Mr. Lockhart. It's locked. Why is the exit locked? Okay. Well. Tuesday. Yes? Hmm. Has anything changed? It's different. There's a box sitting on the table. Though curiosity peaks you, you feel that it would be rude to open a package meant for someone else. Open the box? No, no, you have a point. You leave the box on the table. <sighs> this makes me miss Delta Rune. It's blazing hot outside. Simone? It's really hot out today. We used to have a water cooler, but we had an accident involving it. Someone spilled the water over a bunch of equipment and short-circuited all of it. I think something even exploded. It was actually a pretty scary moment. Malfunctioning, malfunctioning equipment is no joke. Clockheart was really mad that day. Man, I'm really thirsty. You need some? How about you fetch me some water, then we talk, yeah? Man, you always need something. It's a keypad that opens the elevator. The elevator is broken. I could- oh, oh, the package that the, uh, that the guy was gonna get. That's this. I'm going to open it. You open the box, I'm finding a soldering iron. I'm gonna go back. Sure is hot out today. We used to have a water- oh, this is him talking. We used to have a water cooler, but one of our employees made it explode and damaged the office equipment. Needless to say, he's no longer with us. 
Oh? What'd you do to him? Huh. I'm gonna go back to Monday. It's a sunny day outside. Hey, um, I found you one. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be off for the rest of the week, though. So unless you got into the future and got get me a soldering iron, this elevator won't be fixed till next week. I have it. I... I, I have it. Can I... Can, soldering. Here you go. You give the soldering iron to the technician. Hey, you found a soldering iron. I guess I won't be needing this delivery after all. Still gonna take a few days to get this elevator up and running. This still make a lot easier. <laughs> Didn't I just create a paradox? So if he cancels it because I give him one, I'm not gonna be able to have one in the future to give him one. And then he won't cancel the order, and then therefore I'll be in the future getting the soldering iron, coming back and giving him one. But then he won't order one. My guess is I'll be doing my Friday. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Yep. Okay. I guess we move on to next day. All right, witness day. You have anything to say? No. What's today like? A clock. Useful at checking how much time has passed. It's storming outside with an immense amount of rain. Someone apparently forgot to close the windows. What? I love rainy days. As a kid, I used to stick my tongue out and drink as many raindrops as I could. It's not as efficient as drinking water normally, but it was a lot more fun. Fortunately, this rainstorm brought a power outage with it. I was working overtime, but staying here a little longer to enjoy the storm. I don't- I don't trust Simone. Hmm. Nasty storm out there, isn't it? Fortunately, we have a backup power generator. Unfortunately, there's only one enough power to power this very room. That's very... okay. Still can't leave? Locked. I guess we move on to the next day. Oh, hey, it's the potluck. There's a wide variety of food and snacks. Within the feast, there are two empty water bottles tucked away in a corner. You take the water bottles. Yes. Now I can give him water and he can talk to me. Sunny day outside. Happy food day. I brought sandwiches and snacks for today. Feel free to take what you want from the table. Simone always brings a lot of grub on food day. Honestly, I think she does a little too much around here. That's not your voice. That's not really a flaw, is it? Being too nice. Me? I'm just here for my paycheck. Okay, now we go back and get him some water and hopefully something changes. Did you enjoy the food? It's company tradition here for everyone to contribute something to the table. That applies to more than just the food, of course. I'm gonna go Tuesday. I want to see what ha actually. I want to see what happens on Friday. Because no one should be working here, right? Whoa, it's really eerie. It's not fixed yet. The elevator has to be unlocked first. It's a keypad that opens the elevator. It needs a four-digit number. Is he going to wonder why I'm here? Diligent worker, aren't you? Everyone gets Friday off, so the office is closed. If you wish to stay in work, though, I won't stop you. Let's go back. Did you f did you find any water? 
That's not your voice. No, then I'm not in the mood to chit chat. Oh, I need the water. Oh, rain. Yeah, okay. Yes. You stick the water bottles outside and let them fill up with rainwater. Oh, I can. I'm curious, actually. Can I pour this on the electrical equipment? Dang it. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Okay. It's very kind of you, but I don't accept presents from my employees. All right. Would you like some water? Thanks, but uh, I don't know what to do with this. You drink it. You had him, you hand him one of the water bottles. Hey, you actually got it. Thanks, man. You have no idea how much I needed this. I appreciate it, really. Hey. You know, I was kind of a jerk earlier, so I'll let you in on a little secret. It's about the company we're working in. Kronos. You know we're supposed to be a consulting firm, yeah? Well, we haven't had any clients for a while now. Don't know how long it's been since our last one. It's hard to keep track of time sometimes. All I know is, for some reason, companies just stop seeing us. You know what's even weirder? Somehow, our boss keeps finding work for us. Consulting firm without any clients should be dead in the water, but we're still getting paid. I ain't complaining, but frankly, it's starting to weird me out. Anyways, that's the office gossip. I'm leaving the company soon, so might as well get it out. Just gotta send the boss my two weeks notice this Friday, and then the stuff will be behind me. If you wanna know more, you can try asking Simone about it. She's been here longer than I have. Take care, man. Well, I have goosebumps now. Alright, Simone. Hi, did you need something? What's that? You want to know more about our clients? Truth be told, we haven't had any new ones for a while. Maybe Clockheart's moving the company in a new direction? Although... Hey, is it okay if we talk about this later? I don't really want to talk about it with the others around. If you can meet me sometime when we'll be alone, I'll tell you more. So, Friday? Friday. She's not here either. So, when can I see her alone? Oh, he's not here. I always found thunderstorms to be oddly calming. But you didn't come here to enjoy the storm, right? Somehow, we're still working even though we have no clients. In fact, every day is just constant stream of work. I can feel each day pass by. I know when it's a new day, but I don't remember leaving this building. Sounds crazy, right? How can I not remember my life outside of work? <sighs> Anyways, I asked Clockheart about the client thing before. He would always just give me this really weird stare then walk away. So one day, I snooped around his office when, I, when he wasn't there. Found this. Hands your newspaper. I, I don't know what to make of this, but you're a new face here. Maybe you can figure out what's going on. If you could do that and tell me, I'd really be grateful. Kronos Inc. gone? On May 27th, Kronos Inc. filed for bankruptcy. Shortly after, the company's 87 employees, including its CEO, mysteriously vanished. The whereabouts are still unknown. Attempts to enter the, blah, 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 so the building have been unsuccessful or something. I wasn't sure if that newspaper was a fake or not. It has to be, right? We're still here. What the article says here, if what the article says is true. Please find out what's going on. I'll do my best. What do you know about the elevator? Do I confront him about the, the newspaper?
I don't know. May 27, is it 0527 maybe? O five two seven. We're in. Take the elevator. Yeah. What the hell? Where am I? There's a dead body lying down on the ground. It's all bloodied and bruised up. You check the body for its contents. You find two weeks notice. Mr. Clockhart, please accept this letter as my formal notice of resignation. <clears throat> Mr. Clockhart. Please accept this letter as a formal notice of my re resignation from Kronos Inc. I'm very grateful for my time here. I hope this two week notice is enough time to find a replacement. Thank you for the opportunity to work here. Sincerely, I see you. Water, water. No, 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 no. You shouldn't have come here. It's not your voice, but I'm, it's okay. I suppose you found out the fate of my company. The Kronos went bankrupt because of a foolish intern damaged the systems. Systems that happen to hold all of our crucial files. If you think I'm gonna let my company die because of some stupid intern's blunder, you are sorely mistaken. And all of the news that reported the bankruptcy are mistaken too. Because as long as I live, Kronos lives forever. But as for you, your time is finished. <laughs> Water! <laughs> I may have overreacted. Am I the intern? Oh. Body? It's a decaying body. Rotten and old. There's a name tag next to it. It says... Simone. A day in the office. A game by Winrar. Holy crap, I actually really like that. That was really interesting. But yeah, um, I think I'm out of the office job searching for a while now. Uh, maybe I'll pick up hula hooping. Uh, jester for a king. But for now, I'm going to try and be a YouTuber. So thank you for watching. I'm glad you caught the video. I hope it made your day a little bit brighter. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.